Okay, just doing another quick overview of an excellent little fighting knife. This makes for a good everyday carry knife. And that is this model right here, the Columbia River Knife and Tool, model M16-14ZSF. As you can see here, this is their fancy little uh, desert model. It has kind of little desert stylings on there, the tan, the tactical tan. Uh, these knives, the MSRP is sitting right around $75, but you can find them for less. Right around $50 is uh, more of a reasonable price for these knives, 50 to 60 bucks. If you can find them for even less than that, that's a pretty good deal. This is pretty much a bigger version of the smaller M16 series you can see right here, just for size comparison. And again, it's a typical Cricut, uh, Cricut made knife. It's a Kit Carson design, just like the other M16 series. Very well made. And real quick, the specs on this, the open overall length, that's the length with the blade deployed, is 9.25 inches. Your closed length, as you see right here, is 5.3 inches. And the weight, the overall weight, is 6.3 ounces. Again, it's really light. I really don't worry about weight so much when it comes to small items such as this. Weight's not an issue. I mean, I'm the type of guy I carry a full 1911 around with me every day. Uh, if you are worried about weight, though, that's how much it weighs, 6.3 ounces. The blade itself is 3.8 inches long. It, uh, it's made out of the AUS-8 material. It has a hollow grind. It's a tonneau blade. And it does have uh, the serrations on it, which I'll show you here in a minute. And, of course, the lock system on it, it has the locking liner. And it does have the auto lock system, just like the other M16 knives. And I'll go ahead and show you here. You can see the flippers right here. Here's the flipper. And just like the other knife, deploys extremely easily. And you can see it does have a good guard on it. It's bigger in nature. I'll go ahead and compare. There's this knife, and then I'll compare the other M16. You can see the difference in knives here. This one has a more pronounced guard. Extremely well made. A um, lot more room to get a good purchase on the knife. This is more conducive of a good fighting knife than the smaller, uh, smaller model. The auto lock safety is right here, just like other M16 knives. You have to engage the auto lock safety and then move the liner lock. And then you can go ahead and close it. This one, again, if I jostle it, the blade's not going to open up. I think it's really important for these type of knives that you don't want it opening like that in your pocket and then causing some type of problem when you reach in and you cut yourself. There's the serrated part of the blade right there. It comes from the factory with an average uh, edge on it just like this one it's not the best edge in the world but it's good enough for what you need it to do you can always sharpen it uh, at your leisure to your own specifications but there it is really nice knife the uh, finish has a decent amount of traction on it I honestly think you could probably put a little bit better traction on this just like I said in my other review with this knife this finish on this knife has just a little bit more traction than this one does, and I think it's really important. You really don't want your hand accidentally slipping and getting up on that blade. It's a little bit less of an issue with this because it has the full guard, as you can see right here on both sides, which really makes a difference. But I think with any type of knife, especially everyday carry, you want as uh, you know rough of a finish as comfortably possible, just so that way you get that good purchase in case your hand is... Muddy, bloody, dirty. No matter what, in any condition, you can grab onto that knife and hold on to it. In any case, there it is. That's the bigger M16 series. And here's the smaller one. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, feel free to provide any of your input that you have on this knife, whether good or bad. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and stay safe.